woman. She connected that, contacted, contacted that, and we had a great meeting. And then she whispered to our, um, our national overseer at that time. He said, I heard the pastor is uh, a mathematician. My child is completely down, and the education is about to stop because she didn't, uh, you know, understand uh, all these maths and everything. And he said, the national overseer called me and said, this woman said this for her daughter. Uh, do you still remember can you still teach? I said, take me there. And then I got, uh, you know, that child. And I said, what are you now in your studies in mathematics? And she told me. And then I said, this, 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 and all that. She said, I understand now. I didn't need to understand all this time. And then we went through some things, those few days, and that child just came to the positive side. I don't know whether she's a mathematician now, now or not, but that, that's a side story. I hope you students, are the students there tonight? I am your teacher, you will do well. And now, I'm talking about when I was at the university because I was good in maths. Uh, some people had asked me to take, you know, WIAC exam, uh, GC, um, uh, GC, uh, what do you call that? Uh, thank you uh, for them and uh, so I said all right uh, they registered and all that I went in and I took the exam for them and they got distinction two of them two different years but now I'm born again I'm a child of God now and the Lord reminded me what I had done I needed to make a correction of that I needed to turn that around and uh, so I wrote uh, I didn't have to wait for somebody to prop me and encourage me and and push me and, and counsel me. The counseling was the counselor was on the inside because the word of God comes to you really in a clear manner. This is what to do, and this is the way what keep therein. And I wrote uh, letters to the you know examining body. This is what I've done. I was in the university already, and then the fear was coming. Uh -huh. You're blown it. They're going to write to you. They're going to write to the university and they're going to send you away. But I waited. You will see the glory of God. And those people, they wrote a letter back to me. They said, this new life you have, keep to that new life. And everything was all right. And I came out. They didn't throw me out of the university. But I even made a first class leaving that university. What I'm telling you is, God said, I am with thee. Fear thee not, you will not be afraid in Jesus' name. The strength of the Lord will support you, and the power of the Lord will hold you up. I am thy God. I will strengthen you. Yea, I will help you. Yea, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. The Lord will uphold you in Jesus' name. As you begin at this journey and as you go through this life, the life of Christ in man, nothing will send you back to the wilderness of sinning anymore in Jesus' name. When you keep at number three here number three is the confident prayer of the godly for an answer the confident prayer when we come to pray before the Lord and we pray for salvation we're confident because he told us to come he sent the Lord Jesus Christ that the Lord Jesus Christ will pay for our sins and he has done that and now whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved so we come confidently not only that by his tribes were healed we're coming for healing and as we come for the healing we come confidently and boldly he cannot fail his power is still the same even until today i will come to pray confidently there is maybe an evil spirit an evil power tormenting your life and he says he is our deliverer because 
because he died, he gave himself that he might deliver us from this present evil world. And as uh, we come to him, uh, we're not wondering, will he deliver? Will he not deliver? Will he save? Will he not save? Will he forgive? Will he not forgive? He forgives. And because he forgives, we come confidently and he will answer your prayer. And he will answer my prayer. And you and I together joining with the same request you are making, it will answer our prayer. It will give you the solution to the problem and to the challenge you have in Jesus' name. Uh, look at Isaiah chapter 65. I'm reading from verse 24. It says, and it shall come to pass. Amen. That before they call, I will answer. Before they call, I will answer. I was waiting for amen. amen. And while they are yet speaking, while they are, they are not even finished, not even finished, while they are yet speaking, I will hear. From this time now to the time, don't wait now for the final amen today because while they are yet speaking, I will answer. We had a crusade at the National Stadium in Lagos some years ago. And, um, you know, people came from all over. Some were blind, some were lame. This particular child that the mother brought, this particular child that had a peculiar problem this particular child that had a kind of problem i've never heard of before one leg had bone the other leg did not have any bone in it it was like rubber and any time he was moving around it will wind the boneless leg around wood because it was just like that flesh without any bone and so what we're praying we closed our eyes and i was saying oh lord answer the people oh lord do this oh lord do that we had not even finished the prayer the mother started shouting because while we were still praying god created bone into that leg and the boy threw away the stick and the boy started walking majestically with his two feet bone everywhere now and the miracle had been done let me come back to this it shall come to pass in your life that before you call heaven is paying attention now i will answer and while they are yet speaking i will hear on this final day miracle wonders salvation healing deliverance the manifestation of the power of god while we're still speaking you are going home but wonder of wonders tonight, you are going home with salvation. Going home with restoration. Going home with total, complete healing in your body. Amen. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. This is your chance. And this is your time. This is the final day. You must not go back home with your load, the guilt, the condemnation of sin. Because it comes now to save. It says, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. And whoever you are, whatever you have done, no matter how far you have gone in darkness and in sin, he is the one that speaks in righteousness and he is mighty to save. It's bowed and eyes closed. You want that salvation of the Lord that will forgive your sin.
that will cleanse your sin, that will remove your sin, that will give you a real salvation that comes with righteousness. You raise up your hand, praise the Lord, God bless you there. Your salvation has now come. This final day will not pass you by. Salvation is available here. Raise up that hand, raise up that hand and say, Lord, here I am. I want your salvation. Lord, here I am. I want your salvation. Raise up that hand. Raise up that hand. If you're raising up your hand, God bless you there. God bless you there. You can stand up. You can stand up and say, Lord, here am I. This day is going to be the day of my salvation. The day I repent. And the day I believe. And the day I call upon the Lord. And his salvation comes to me. Stand up as you are raising up your hand. Online over the radio, over the television, anywhere you are, you're willing to turn over your life completely without reservation unto the Lord. He wants to bring you that salvation now. And he wants to turn your life, life around for the better. And he wants to give you the grace and the strength to say, come what may, I'll follow the Lord till the end of my life. Grace available, love available, strength available, and the welcome of the Lord available. God bless you for standing and praying for you. Now, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. And we bless your name because you are the God that cannot fail. You are the God that has called us. And as we respond and come, you are mighty to save. Save your people in Jesus' name. And I pray that all the bad habits of the past, all the evil things of the past, you break everything, cleanse everything, wash everything away, and make them as white as snow. I pray, Lord, the joy of salvation, the peace that comes with salvation, and the righteousness, the assurance that comes with salvation, grant unto everyone right now in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, there be the Spirit of God witnessing in their hearts. They are saved. They are restored. They are now born again. They are children of God. Confirm it, Lord, in every heart there in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Keep on standing. Our counselors are there and they will give you the usual sleeves we'll give to those who have just given their lives to the Lord so that as you feel that correctly, we may be able, we'll be able to keep on helping you. And then after this session, I'll come back to assure you and to minister to you of your healing that you must have today. Amen. We call on our moderating overseer to see us, uh, to help us in this session. Thank you and God bless you. Keep on standing. The counselors are by your side. Keep on standing. Please all our counselors go near. See that you attend to everybody. Please those who have given their lives to Christ, keep on standing. And if counselors are not closer to you, give them a sign so that they can get to you. Let's be quick and fast. If you are watching online and you just gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, there is a link below your player. Just uh, click it and fill the form so we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. Also, if you are listening via radio or television and you just gave your life to Christ, send your name, your phone number, and your location address via SMS or WhatsApp to this number.
plus 234-915-444-9263. I'll give you the number again. Plus 234-915-444-9263. 6-3. And all those who have given their lives to Christ tonight, please don't forget that there is going to be a converts rally on Sunday by 3 p.m. You should endeavor to be there at the Deeper Life Bible Church Headquarters, Ezene, here in Asaba. And those who are in other locations, don't forget, you will be at the designate places that will be arranged for you. Let's be fast. And so those who have given our lives to Christ, please uh, take note of this. Just supply your name, your full name. Now you have given your life to Christ, you are going to tell the truth. So give them your accurate name, your address, your phone number, if you have any. And if your address is not very clear, just inform the counselor, the particular popular place close to you, or the popular compound where you live and give them the name by which you are known so that our counselors will contact you after now, after today. So don't forget the package that is given to you. Read the letter there and act according to the content of the letter. And by the grace of God, will be able to give you all the attention you need. Please, counselors, let's um, search out all those who gave their lives to Christ. And let's be fast. And the supervisors, please, once you finish at your end, just give a signal to us over here so that we know you have finished at your side. And those who are in need of miracle, just be praying. Don't forget, you believe the report, you will see the arm of the Lord revealed to you. You fulfill the conditions, you will see what God will do. Your healing is possible, your miracle is possible. It is as simple as anything. Just fulfill the conditions, and God will not bypass you. Don't forget, it is not only prayer. You will need to exercise faith, and you need to fulfill the condition. Expect God to touch you tonight. Please, our counselors, we are still waiting for you. If you have finished at your end, just say, uh, wave your flag to us so that we know you are finished. 
also those who have given their lives online, please let me repeat this. You will see a link below your player. Just click it and fill the form and send it to us so that we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. And also those who have given their lives through radio or television, you will give us your name, your phone number, and your location address uh, through SMS or WhatsApp message to this number, plus 234-915-444-9263. And don't forget that on the 5th of February, there will be an online banquet for all those who have surrendered to Christ. You'll be giving more details about this later. Our counselors, please, can you please indicate if you have finished at, the, at your end? Please, at the left-hand side, my left-hand side here, have you finished? Please wave your flag so I can see. Have you finished? At the central area here. If you have finished, can you raise up your flag? Let's be faster. Okay, I'm seeing a flag just uh, up there. Okay, by the right hand side, I can see the flags. Please, at the pavilion, can you wave your flag if you have finished over there? Okay, thank you very much. Please, at my left hand, if you have finished, can you raise your flag? Okay, thank you very much. Shall we rise up on our feet as our pastor comes to pray for us? Praise the Lord. Let your hallelujah be bright and sharp and loud. Pray. Praise the Lord. The Lord God has said, and it shall come to pass. This is your time. It shall come to pass. In fact, it has come to pass. Healing, deliverance, dominion, strength, power miracle answers to your prayer it shall come to pass that before they call i will answer and while they are yet speaking i will hear can god lie he said i will hear as god changed he said, I will hear the same yesterday, today, and forever. And everything I'd ever promised is still fulfilling today. It says, while they are yet speaking, I will hear. He will answer your call today. It's the final day. And we're not rushing home tonight. Testimonies. From there. From there online everywhere whatever the challenge your answer has come you raise up one hand and you lay the other hand where you have the challenge he knows you there he sees you there and the answer now is on the way and before the final amen look at it he has done it Raise up that hand and lay the other hand where you have any challenge, any problem, any, any, any problem, any challenge. And this is the day of demonstration and manifestation. Father, in Jesus' name. Well, thank you and bless your name tonight for your goodness, for your power, and for your faithfulness. You cannot fail, you will not fail. I'm asking now, Lord, touch everyone in Jesus' name. Deliver, heal everyone in Jesus' name. 
Christ came for this purpose that he might destroy all the works of the devil. And I pray here to the right, to the left, to the center, to the front, everywhere, anywhere now, online, in the media, television, radio, anywhere, I pray the work of the devil will be destroyed in every life now in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, deformity, you will correct. Infirmity, you will remove. Sickness, you will take away. And all the things that are walking about in the body, I command them, come out in Jesus' name. I'm asking, Lord, that your mighty power will move everywhere. You are not a partial God. You do for A, you do for B, you do for everyone. Therefore, Lord, I pray that you manifest your healing power in everyone right now in Jesus' name. That insanity, that brain problem, that demonic problem, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord, for all those things walking about in the body, destroying their peace of mind, tearing them apart and torturing their lives. I command that evil power come out in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have any kind of a heart problem or breathing problem and the palpitations there and the, the, the thing as if your heart will jump out, I command there will be peace in your system in Jesus' name. And I pray that all the anxiety and all the worry and all the fear, as if life is coming to an end, Lord, I pray, restore total health to everyone in Jesus' name. I'm asking, oh Lord, that the physical problem, tangible, that people feel, and the pain in their body, I pray, Lord, all the pains vanish away in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, the hardness in that part of the body, in the tummy on that right hand side, I pray, Lord, you touch them right now and remove that hardness in that part of the body in Jesus' name. I pray that all the stiffness of the joints and all the pain of arthritis in their joints, in the elbows, in the shoulder, in the knee, even at the waist and at the ankle, Lord, I pray, lay your mighty hand on them and heal them perfectly. Make them whole in Jesus' name. Cancer, whatever stage of cancer that is, I pray that the mighty power of God will take that cancer away instantaneously in Jesus' name. Also, you are healed in Jesus' name. That are near, I pray the Lord will touch that are near and you will remove that are near. You will be free, totally free in Jesus' name the fibroid and any other swelling in the body, Lord, touch them by your mighty power for a definite miracle. Fibroid, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, like the child I spoke about, that you created bone where there's no bone, any missing part of the body, whether in the bone, whether in the, in the stomach, whether it's kidney, or whatever it is, any missing part of the body, Create that now and supply in everyone in Jesus' name. Dumb person, speak out in Jesus' name. Dead person, hear in Jesus' name. And the dim sight and the blindness, the cutter, the chroma, whatever it is, or it's in, at the back of the eye, the retina. I'm asking, Lord, you know where the problems are. Touch them, transform them, heal them in Jesus' name. I pray now for everyone, everyone from the top of the head to the tip of the toe. I pray that the virtue of healing will pass through everybody right now. Everywhere here, everywhere online, everywhere in the congregation that are congregated listening together, Miracle everywhere now in Jesus' name. Power manifestation everywhere now in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray nobody will go without their healing, without their deliverance, and without the manifesting of the power of God in their lives. Touch them, heal them, deliver them, set them free. Confirm the miracle in every life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. It is done. 
I said it is done. You see the healing there. And as you see the healing, you come out so we can have a glorious time of testimony sharing tonight. The moderating over service. Keep on standing. Keep on standing. Keep on standing. And please don't move. Don't move. Be steady there. Steady there. And be quiet. That thing you couldn't do before. You couldn't talk before. Please test them. You couldn't hear before. Please speak to their ears. You couldn't see before. Show them something. Show them colors. If you couldn't walk before, either you are paralyzed or your joints are stiff or you are just helplessly lying down there, get up from there. Do that thing you couldn't do before. Please, everybody should be at a standstill. No movement now. And as you see what the Lord has done, you will shout praise the Lord and you will come out here so that we can entertain your testimonies. Check up, check up, check up. God has healed you. Put your hands together there. Any more, any more, any more. Check yourself because the power of God has been released. Check yourself. You have crutches. Throw them away. They don't belong to you anymore. You are sitting on the wheelchair. Get up from that wheelchair. Carry that wheelchair. You are not born with it. Put your hand together. The Lord is doing something. Don't go with your problem tonight. Check it, check it, check it. If you check it, there is nothing. Check again and check again and do it again and do it again. You are healed. You are healed. You are delivered. As you see what the Lord has done, you will just come out to the left side, my left hand here. Our pastors and leaders are there to hear your testimonies there check up check up yourself check up yourself check up yourself god is walking god is walking god is walking your life will never be the same again check it up check it up check it up that thing you couldn't do do it again now do it now do it now do it now because the Lord has touched you and the Lord has healed you. And while we are checking ourselves, we'll be entertaining some testimonies. Keep on checking yourself because God has healed you. God has touched you. Our pastor has prayed for you and God has answered. And so check yourself and keep on checking, and keep on checking, and when you see what God has done, you will come out. And share the testimony with us. Don't go back without sharing your testimony. Just come. Don't say, oh, let me go and prove. If God has done it, he has done it. There's nothing to prove. He has done it. Just come out. Let's, let's listen to the testimonies now.
testimonies now. This is Chloe, Chloe, 13 years old girl. She has a very beautiful testimony to share. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Lori Glory. My testimony is that, uh, yes, last year, my eyes used to pain me. And I cannot look at light clearly. So my mom told me that I should continue praying. God will heal me. But yesterday, when the man of God was praying, he said, Lay your hand wherever you have a challenge. Then I put my hand in my eyes. Then after the final amen, I was at the back. I said amen after he said praise the Lord. Then now I can look at light. Before I could not look at light. My eyes now, I can read you are healed. little, you are little healed. words. But before I could not read little Put words. Put your hands together. God bless you. The next testifier. She had photophobia and short-sightedness with the close interview we had for her. And now all of that has disappeared. Keep on checking yourself as we are entertaining testimonies. The Lord has done your own. You come out to the left here so that we take your testimonies. This is Michael Excellence. They have a, another interesting testimony. Children of God, praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Our God is good. By the grace of God, my name is Michael Faith. And this is my son, Michael Excellence. He's 11 years of age. I'm from Deco Group, Wari Region. Praise the Lord. I'm here to testify on behalf of my son what the Lord did in his life last April retreat and stroke, the GCK. When I gave birth to the child, along the line, I, I don't know what I didn't do well, what I did well concerning his ear. The ear started bringing pulse. There was discharge. So I took him to the hospital. I took him to Ogara Teaching Hospital. And the doctor would book appointment with us. They would, when, they, when I take him there, they would clean the ear. He would cry. The thing used to be very painful. Why? He was still small. Along the line, the thing stopped. After a while, when, as he was growing, the thing came back again. You know, there was a particular time he did something. I, I hit. It was the ear I hit and the teeth started bleeding, bringing pus. So when I went to a nearby clinic, a nearby uh, pharma, a nearby uh, chemist, the man told me that I should go to a, 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 a doctor that specializes in ear. But I, I, I didn't go. And then the thing kept coming. After from the pus, the teeth, the ear started bringing blood. Very, very painful, very embarrassing in class when you scratch his ear, clean it on his uniform, they will tell him that his body was smelly. So before the April retreat, and I decided to take him to the hospital because the blood and the pus that were coming were much. And I got there, they now book appointment to me, I should come back again. When we went to the April retreat, I met one or two people's assistants so I can treat him. But before I could, I went back to, I went back to the hospital and they said I should do a test for him. They did a test and wrote drug for me. Brethren, lo and behold, when I went home, how God did the miracle, I cannot understand. The pus just dried up, the blood dried it. Today, the ear, no odor, very clean and clear, and he can hear well, and the Lord has Put done it. Praise the Lord. Together. God is great. Miracles are still happening. Check yourself. Check yourself, check yourself. Check yourself. God is walking in the crusade ground. Praise the Lord. This is Felis Ekoro. In this very GCK, he had his testimony. Praise. Praise in the Lord. I so much bless the name of the Lord for the great things he has done for me. My name is Felis Ekoro. I reside at 
Obagbaro, Ugele, Delta State. Uh, by the grace of God, I think two weeks before this UCK, I have a problem with my, my very serious. And I went to the chemist, the product was for me. All the things the, the chemist told me I did, but I came here with a problem. I came to Jesus with a problem. And Jesus, through the man of God, Pastor W.F. Queen, prayed for me it's on Sunday, there. and I was E, and all my body again whole. Praise the Lord. As he did it for me, he will do yours, likewise, in Jesus' name. Put your hands together. God is walking in the camp. God is walking in the camp. Jam your hands together. Please come out, come out as the testimonies are going on. Bring them out, keep on bringing them out. Check yourself there, the power of God is there. Check yourself there, the power has been released. Praise the Lord. Keep coming. The Lord has healed you. Put your hands together. Welcome the miracle with excitement, everybody. Praise the Lord. This is Blessing Dibye. She actually came the first day to testify, but we interviewed her and told her I want her to check it up and then come finally. And I saw her again come up today. So she's very sure the Lord has done this miracle. Praise the Lord. My name is Dibye Blessing. For over four years, I've been suffering from mental problems. I went to hospital, but when I came from this COVID, Mr. God, I've done it for me. I would like to sing one song. Hey, God has God bless God you. God has given me. I thank God. God will come to this in the name of Jesus. Amen. The next testifier, please. Keep on checking yourself because God is working. Check yourself where you are. God is still working. This is Fanny Ike Chuku. God did something for her in this very program. Praise the Lord. Living so, praise the Lord. Amen. I'm here to thank God, to testify what the Lord has done for me in this crusade. Amen. For good 30 something years. There is this kind of rashes that used to come out from my body. The thing was very, very inching, very painful. So the second day that I came here, the thing shoot out and begin to scratch me. After the prayer of our daddy in the Lord, he said we should lay hand on wherever that is pain in us. The, the, the third day, the rashes disappear. I'm here to return all the glory to God. There are many testimonies. I don't think time will permit me. I'll say may his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, uh, can the orchestra wait? Please, if you just received your miracle, 
share your testimony with us via the WhatsApp number being displayed on your phone or testimony link on the screen. You can also record a video of your testimony and share with us via WhatsApp and Telegram if you receive online. Please do that. God bless you. Yes, orchestra, can we have a music? The Lord is doing great things even online and we can confess that we have numer innumerable encounters with the unforgettable God. We have this one coming. Indeed, God is doing great things as we have another GCK baby. Agbola Olamide is praising God for how God, the Lord blessed um, her family with GCK baby in October last year. He said he is called Williams. Praise the Lord. Yes, while we are still on that, we'll bring you the testimony of another baby, not a newborn baby now, but a 13 month old baby, Deborah Magnus, who had a closed private part and could only urinate through a tiny opening. But on Saturday night, after the prayers of the man of God, God did the wonders. On, on Sunday morning, according to the writing here, the mother was dressing up the baby only to discover that the private part that was initially closed is now opened and the girl is now urinating normally. The great physician indeed at work. Abimbola Williams is thanking God of how God um, healed him of pain, he said in his right arm, but after the final amen on the second day of the crusade, he said the pain disappeared and God perfected all that consigns him. Praise the Lord. And now we'll take you to Adamawa State, northern part of Nigeria, for a testimony of what the Lord has done. Broadcasting to you now. My name is Hajaratu Dauda. I have been suffering from back pain and arthritis. I went to the hospital to no avail. I also went to native doctors to seek for healing, but all this, there was no improvement. I decided to forego all the treatments. Then my friend visited me and invited me to GCK November edition. I came to the program and during the prayers of the pastor, he said, we should place our hands to the area we have the problem, which I did. And after the miracle prayers of the pastor, my back and all the arthritis all vanished. And I started walking perfectly. Before I could not go to the bush to fetch firewood or carry water with my hands on my head on my own. But now I am very okay after the prayers of the pastor. I thank God for Pastor Komoye. Put your hand together. I am Comfort Raphael. My problem started in 2021 after I gave birth to my first child. I started having excruciating pain around my womb with moving objects. I went to hospitals. I sought help. But the problem persisted until in November 2022 when my aunt invited me to the November edition of the GCK. She told me Pastor Kumui will be coming to Yola and that when I come to that program, I will find solution to my problems. True to it, when I came to the program, after the ministration of the man of God, he asked us to raise one hand up and put the other hand 
where we have our problem. In simple faith, I raised my hand and I placed the other hand in my womb, believing God that God will hear my prayer. And I thank the Lord that I received my healing. Praise the Lord. We return to the moderating overseer as we bring you more testimonies coming from online later. The next testimony now. This is Blessing Walia. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Blessing Walia, as you heard. I came down from Edo State on Friday. My uncle called me on phone and said that GS is coming to Asaba, that I should come. And before the last two weeks, as I was leaving my house to get something. So I did not eat my foot on any stone. And I, I did not even misplace my footstep. Suddenly, I began to have sharp pain on my ankle. When I tried to touch it, there is a slump on it. So I said, ah, what is the meaning of this? So I tried to match it. I could not match it. So I, as I was walking, it seems as if I was leaping. So I said, ah, since GS is coming to Asaba, there's no need of me to go to any pharmacy or to get drug. I will use it like that and come to Asaba. And as I was coming, I have all that expectation, which I want God to do. And I want God to touch my family. Since on Friday I came, I can testify fully that now I can match my leg, as you can see. I'm matching it on the ground. I'm not limping. I'm not feeling any sharp pain. There is no slump on the leg you anymore. I'm perfectly okay. And my expectations are all granted by GS Kumi. Daddy, God bless you, sir. You will live long for us. Amen. Put your hands together. Orchestra, give us a song. They are singing, check yourself. God is still walking. Whatever you see on your body, come out and testify. Wonderful. A rich on Thursday, my sister, my brother, I land here in the afternoon. As I came, I don't know that I the time where I want to take money and pay transport. Although I never let me tell you, my name is a uh, Njoku Justina. I come from Eastern Oku, Delta State. So as I, I come I bring my Bible to give pay my transport. I don't know that my set has fell down inside car. So I reached here around uh, one o'clock. He reached two o'clock, the driver came. I, I, I look at the driver, I say, I said the driver where I enter. He said, check your set. I said, my set is inside my bag because I don't bring the set out. The man bring the set out. I, I, want, I, want, I open my mouth, I don't know what till I'll talk. I just uh, greet the man and bring something inside my bag and give the man and greet him. Second to one, they are after my daddy pray, something I feel like a cool, my body cool. Small time, something be like say, he move like a trailer inside my body. I begin the, it remains more my failure for grand. Praise the Lord. He never knew what happened for me because my sister, if you feel it, my sister follow me at thank God because he's a wonderful God. Daddy, thank, thank you, you very for much. God saving bless. me today. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together. Next testifier now. Keep on checking yourself. And as you see the miracles, you come out, please. Come to the left side of my, of the platform here, where 
who will hear your testimony. Praise the Lord. She's carrying baby James Emmanuel, and she has a testimony to share. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. On the first day of this program, which was on Thursday, we were admitted in the hospital. So after my treatment, I was discharged, but baby Jane was not discharged. We are in the hospital till Sunday afternoon when we were discharged. She was stooling and vomiting. So when we were discharged, we went to wanted to come in here in the evening, but we decided to rest. The stooling, uh, um, the, vomit, the stooling continued that Sunday and even on Monday morning. But on Monday evening, we came down for the program. She rejects food. If I make food for her, she doesn't eat. What she only takes was water, water, water. But when we came here in the evening, I came with her food too. She started crying, so I gave her food. Jane ate very well, and she drank water and slept after eating. So we went home. She slept very fine. I could remember GS prayed concerning diarrhea and um, vomiting. So when, when we went home that night, she slept very well. She didn't wake up as usual, crying for water, crying for food. She slept well. And to the glory of God, we went to school today. So I, I checked on her because she was not in class with me. So they say she only stood once. And the pampas I put for her was only one. And that was what she wore and came back to the house. When we went back home, she slept very well. I asked her teacher, they said she ate very well. Even what I did not put for her, she also ate. So she slept this evening, and after preparing to come for the program, she woke up, and her, she didn't do what these two has formed already. Praise the living Jesus. Put your hands together. This is Celestine Ebinum. He has a testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Celestine Ebinum, and I'm from uh, Goshen District, Okwe Group, Asaba, Delta State. I want to share what God has done for me in this present GCK. I had a problem that started 2016 with my eyesight. I can't read a small print. I only go for a big print or use a very bright light to read. As God will have it, during the Sunday that we had one million match, I gave my big Bible to my son to take home, but then he didn't take it home. I never knew he forgot it in the church. Hence, I came to this program without a Bible. I've been using my handset until on Sunday. I said, let me pick my old Bible, which has a small print, which of course I picked. I was sitting at the pavilion there. Uh, during the preaching, and GS was reading, I was using my handset. At the time, I said, let me pick my, phone, my old Bible and see. And then when I picked it, I was able to read through brethren. And I read through, I tapped my wife, I said, it has happened. That that prayer that I've been, that miracle that I've been expecting ever since, that it has happened. It brethren, has God happened. Has me of it. Praise it has God. happened. Put your hands together. Check yourself. What you are expecting has happened. Check yourself. And you come out to the left hand side here.
Now we go online for some testimonies. Yes, we cannot cease thanking God and celebrating online for different encounters all over the world. As we bring you this one from YouTube, Gloria Ojo, who wrote, Praise the Lord. I've been having symptoms of malaria and typhoid for some days now, and I trusted the Lord that at the GCK I will receive my healing. And just tonight, after the prayers of the man of God, all those symptoms of malaria and typhoid are all gone. I have received my healing. Indeed, great things God is doing online. As faith, as a CJ, said children of God, praise the Lord. I had acute appendix since last year, May. And the doctor said I have to go for operation. That costs 200,000 naira. But since last year, I've been listening to the pastor's message and believing God for a miracle. But glory to God, after the prayer of the man of God, he said, I received my healing without going for any operation or paying any money to anybody. I am totally healed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Abner Mercy from YouTube wrote, 